90210 ended and it was like they would treat it like I had started acting with 90210 and it was like right no I like I was doing this 15 years before 90210 like I've I've been in SAG since I was nine I've been in SAG longer than my fiance's been alive like it's insane (laughs) oh my god for real no me I'm sure dude dude. for real I've been in SAG for 43 years yeah so oh yeah, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, really yeah. Wild. yeah so yeah wow. dude we got you we've got you beat for sure yeah. that unbelievable yeah, yeah. happy friday everybody happy welcome back friday. to the pod uh we we're just gonna get right to it instead yeah. of all the chit chat we do normally um we have an what? amazing guest well because we have an this amazing guest so very studio so guest very um, chatty over here that i've known for literally almost like 35 years which is crazy. crazy yes Dude, um, i've known you for so long that it's... i still slip up and call you joey you can call like, me joey oh no you can i it's call fine. him joey I call him joey anyway everybody brian austin green is in hey! studio hey! Woo-hoo! What's up, buddy? very cool What's up, buddy yes i can't buddy. believe this yes. all right we'll have to go known each other forever so so it's funny because I so I remember Matt. I remember when you were young because you were oh. still you were kind of around during the time yeah. when we. Oh yeah, for out. sure. Oh yeah, you weren't no, even. I wasn't no. there yet. Yeah, you. No, like, yeah. it's no. You no, you no. weren't even like thought about at no. that point. And and later later incarnation. Yeah. yeah. So that's Damn. how. Whoa. Damn it. He came right yeah, after. No. Yes. That makes we me did, feel so terrible. We did the yeah, Adventures just... of Babysitting pilot. What year was that? Was that eighty nine? Something like that. It was something stupid. It was something like that. Yes, we we did it. Eventually, baby. I, I think it was it was before eighty nine because we did the we did the pilot for nine hundred two one zero in ninety. Okay, so it was eighty eight. Must yeah. have been eighty eight. Yeah, which would which would make sense because the movie came Mine. out in eighty five or eighty six. Yeah, eighty seven. Right, eighty seven. Right and it was a big hit, and then oh, they made the show. My goodness. Believe it or not, Elizabeth. So we Shue, thought we had like oh dude a for sure. By the way, job. Yeah. it was a good pilot. I it was so much I fun. I don't remember it, but it I was so much I, fun. I remember that we did it. <laughs> we did and it. I remember there was a that at one point they built like a trap door in the in the um. It was like a grocery store. Kind exactly. Of like a, exactly. Like a gas station. Type I remember grocery store. very big things about it too. I remember that Elizabeth Shue um, was on set because she was a producer on the show and she was watching our, our run throughs. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. And yes. there was, and there was also the only other big memory that I have is other than us, us hanging out and having fun. We were always laughing and stuff, but, what? but there was a popcorn machine on set and dude, we, Ravaged it was that free popcorn. <laughs> oh we we oh were young and it was like, wait a second. They kept no. saying, "Hey guys, I get a paycheck. Yes. I get popcorn Dude, whenever yeah. I want." They literally kept telling us, "Guys, please stop eating." Really? The popcorn. Yes, we would oh, kill it. That's... Yeah. By the time all day, they were like, "We don't have extra kernels and stuff." <laughs> right, right, like, this oh is, god, this is right, a prop. Right, like, right. It's just supposed to be it. in the background. We would ravage like, no, it. You guys yeah. need to buy the yes, supplies. That's yes, funny. It was a really good show. You never wonder why. I mean, TV was so back then, dude. They were they were such fat cats back. Then they were so greedy, you know, and yeah. we we often say that I mean, brotherly love, brotherly love. NBC didn't want to go forward with brotherly love, and they put us on Sunday night, which you know is used to be a death time slot, right? Yeah. Sunday at like seven thirty, right. which was not my time slot, right? right. Our fans were much different than yeah. that. Blossom was on Mondays at eight, which right. is way better, and we were we were still getting like fifteens, yeah. And NBC and Sunday night, and NBC was like. We're not really feeling the 15 million people. What's you know? crazy is how ratings have changed. Dude. Oh too. my gosh. So wow. I did a show on TBS and um, the guy running the network didn't get along with the creators of the show and it Perfect. was this whole thing. That's so, always fun. so they put us on on a Saturday night, oh, lovely. Mm. figuring like, oh, it'll die. And it didn't. It did well, and they still let us go. <laughs> no way. Isn't that amazing? And looking back at the numbers now oh. that we were getting, it's like, oh, that's a hit show. They would have. That is. Dude, nah, if a show- We were killing it. it yeah. It's amazing. The ratings points for people that don't know, when they say a, a, a show gets like a 2.0, that's 2 million people roughly. Yeah. So yeah. they basically, your points are millions. Yeah. So when we say we got canceled with 15 million people watching mm. on a Sunday night at 7.30, right? It's amazing. Yeah, now, today, now the number a, one show yeah. on broadcast television, and even on and even on cable, because they do it with streams and views and things, it's different, obviously. But, but, um, but I- 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 if you get like a, a five, well- you're, oh, you're a you're, smash. Oh, yeah, you're a smash, smash. hit. I didn't, didn't yeah. the, I think the Peng- Welcome to 20 years of pickups. Dude, I know. Dude, I know. The, yes. the Penguin got a five. Five, two. Yeah, I know. It's an, I mean, this show is amazing. I mean, this yeah. is like uh, one of the most yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, and it was a huge premiere. That's a huge. big and then, premiere. And like, this is a huge success, but it only got a five? Five, yeah. two. Yeah. We were getting, we got canceled when we got yes. fives. Yeah. No, oh, you were shredded. No, you, you couldn't <laughs> Dude, get canceled crazy. at 10. Yeah, you would you get a 10. Oh, when I was a little kid, I mean, give me a break going way back. That was a top 10 show, and we were never in the top five. It was always like maybe like eight, nine, 10, and we were getting a 33. 
I'll never forget that. Dude, it's so Be crazy sitting here. You're an adult. Like, we're oh, adults. Dude, we're, adults. Yeah. Dude, we're like getting old. <laughs> like, what's happening? Five Bro. kids. Dude, I know. Wow. I got three. Five. I got three. Yeah. I got three. What is what is the makeup of, of your kids to girls to boys? All boys. From 20. Wait a minute. No all way. Boys? Yeah. All boys? From 22 to two years old. I have old. all girls. Dude. All girls. What? So you really do have a, a, a basketball team. Yeah, like, legit. Wow. Right. wow. Of course, none of my kids are in a sport. That's okay. So that's yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Wow. Wow. wow, man. My middle daughter's playing basketball this year and she's really good. Is she? Yes. See? Right. Yes, she can shoot. She's very athletic. Both my older girls, I don't know about the little one yet, but uh, yeah, they're both athletic. But this is the first time that like Libby decided to like tap into it. She's good, man. She's good. I can't wait. I'm going to go to one of her games. Oh, yeah. They Coming up. We're going to all the games. Where? She goes. Uh, I, don't, I, no, I don't yeah, want to call it. Yeah, but she, yeah. <laughs> she's, uh, where are was we I thinking? Like, I know. Like these don't exist. Yeah. No, no, no. Like, it's all good. Yeah. It, the, no, it's all good. But she's uh, she's amazing. She's really awesome. good and can shoot. That's great. Unbelievable. Really? Yes. Yes. So, what, anyways, does she fun. have like a quick release or a, 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 like it's a fadeaway? Like, what is she? What is it's she? A, it's the, it's the, she does the three pointers like this and, you know, the double hand. Double handed. Really? Wait, how old is she? She's 14. 14. Yep. Double okay. handed. Three Double pointers. handed. Three and the pointers. ball's got the perfect rotation on it. Really? Really? Yes. I feel like that's even more difficult. Her coach is working with her. And so she has the single shot for two. But when she does three, she does it and she makes them. Wow. Yeah, dude. Like that's makes amazing. them. And a pretty quick release. Mm. Mm. Pretty, pretty quick. And this is what, on a 10-foot yeah, rim. Yeah, I was about to say, what height's in that? It's on a 10-foot rim. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's on a legit yeah. rim, yes. No, they're... They're JV. That's, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Super She's cool. She's a freshman. That's awesome. Yeah, it's really, it's really cool. It's so so five boys ranging from what now? 22, 22 to two. Two. Well, I oh, have wow. 18 to two. So there you go, bro. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You well, guys. Five kids. I still run into people and they're like, wait, you have how many kids? Oh it's my like, gosh. Five. Wow. Isn't that amazing? That is, that is Dude, incredible. it's so, it's so crazy. I look at you too and it's so surreal because, you know, you, you know somebody as long as Brian and I have known each other and you see them in every walk of their life. I mean- when we met, think about this. I mean, you're talking 88. Like, we were like, oh, we were like, we were young, little kids. I was born in 73. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. Wow. I was born in 76. Yeah. yeah. So you're talking like wow. 12 and 15. Yeah. Like, we wow. were like the ages of, I mean, like, we were young kids. It's and crazy. then And then we saw each other when we were, you know, we used to hang when we were in our driving phase. We were getting our cars and yeah. we each had the same car. We each really? Had, yes. <laughs> yeah. Lexus S400. Oh, that's, that's impressive. <laughs> that's impressive. So, he did. I mean, so nice to see the, him driving his around. When we had the mine. Lexus, yes. literally nobody had Nobody Lexus. had this. No way. And people dude. all the time, i pull up to a valet wow. yes. and they'd be, be like, like what, what kind of car is this? Yes. It's a Lexus. They were like, I've never heard of this. Yes. Oh my goodness. Wow. It was hard to get those coupes. And the coops were really cool. And <laughs> coops, I knew he had one. I was like, cool. that's yeah. so dope. Yeah. And so I got my I gotta get one. Yeah. Wow. They were awesome, man. What Very was your cool. first car? My first, well, I had to drive. I couldn't get a car when I turned 16, like right on the button because uh -huh. my parents were. So I had to drive the <laughs> family minivan for okay. like eight months. <laughs> Super sexy. Yeah. Dude, it was the for worst. Sure. Right. My first trip to it's the mall amazing. was in the Pontiac Transport minivan, so awesome. this white alien ship. And I was like, oh my God. So I had to drive to the mall and that. <laughs> Joe had a it was the That's worst. So but then uh, so I drove funny. that for seven months and I had a great record driving. So then I was able to get a car. My very first car was uh, was a Nissan 300ZX. Oh, okay. So you dope. went sporty right dope. out the Yes. Yeah. And okay. I had a Jeep Cherokee too. Which okay. I got. Which Matt got. Which you got. Yeah. Yes. I gave Four that years to later. I had a Bronco too. Nice. Oh, sweet. Well, bro dude. I bought it. Dude, those are so well, cool. It's so cool they stopped making them. But like <laughs> it was. It, we have to so, just continue this piece of shit. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. No. So I had. But it was cool. It looking, was before though. cell phones came out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cell phone literally like I had a, I had a pager. Right. I had a plastic cell phone. Right. That I. <laughs> God, that crazy. I velcroed to that's the amazing. door of my car. You mean car. like the car phone? Yes. Right. Oh, with yeah. the curly cord. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. oh, I had one of those. Oh, my goodness. You and velcroed it? it, had, it velcroed? Had, well, it had fake lights in it. So I could pick it up and pull up next to somebody and pretend like I was talking. Wait, it was a phone. fake phone? It was so fake. It was so fake. Total, like there was. <laughs> You could, was you could buy them. Not, it was, you, you could, could buy them at Oz. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Which is, I think, where I bought yeah. it at Oz. <laughs> I bought, I have bought a fake, you know when you could get the car antennas? Yeah. I bought a stick on one and put it on my car from Oz. Yeah. They had, little, Velcro, they had a little piece of adhesive. You'd put it Why? on the back window. Because you wanted awesome. to make it look like you had a car phone. It looked like phone. you had a cell phone. Yes. 
You want to make you look like so you put like the yes. you put the fake you antenna guys. on and yes. you put the fake oh phone in. No. My God. Yeah, you could also buy oh, yeah. the no. fake the Dude. fake key fob hey, that made the shut. noise that acted like oh, you had an alarm. No. So hey, you bro. The, but it never it just was a fake noise. Oh my God! Yes. The, wow. What, what's the saying? Necessity is the mother of invention. Yeah. Yes. So it's yeah. like okay. Oh, no, oh my God! Cell phones are out and they were like ten thousand dollars. They were like briefcase oh, things. You had yeah. to carry them with a curly. Yeah, I've seen yeah pictures. And I was like, oh no, I'm putting one in my. Phone in my car because I, oh I wanted to see him. Oh my god! Isn't that, Dude, that is yeah. unbelievable. I did the same thing. Yeah, exactly the same thing. Yeah. Really? Yes, it's so crazy. Yes, I put the antenna on. I had, had a the... I had a dope system in my car. Oh I yeah, a, yeah. Oh. I had Sound a... systems, <laughs> right? Except, did you? Okay, so I'm gonna keep aging us Amazing. because Amazing. it's fun to do. It, it is because they just giggle. About I know. It. It's great. <laughs> I know. Did you ever have? Remember when the uh, the portable CD players came out? Of course. And you put them in your car, but they skipped. Yes, they did. They didn't. You oh, couldn't, right. The discs you're didn't lock oh, in. Yeah. They did not. Right. So you couldn't, like, if you were walking with it, it was supposed to yeah. be a Walkman, but you'd, like, walk so yeah. gently. Yeah, like you're holding. Yeah, yes. and it was yeah. like if you moved For too sure. fast, it would skip. That, and yeah. then it was like, and it was 20 seconds before it would recover. And For sure. Gosh, that is so true. Or you'd so have true. to start from the beginning again. Because <laughs> that the whole is, thing would be done. like. That is it's, so yeah, Like, its true. head would explode. Then, so then they came out with the, um. they had a thing. Oh they God. had a mount for in your car. It was yes, a gooseneck did. mount. Yes, they did. And and then it had a platter. So your your CD thing would, oh would snap into the I know it's ridiculous. Oh yeah. Would snap into the top of it and it had it had like shock absorbers in it. Yes. Um, and then it had one of those goosenecks that you could sort of like mm -hmm. move around and mm -hmm. reposition in any way you it wanted. Did. It did. Like a popper stopper for oh, a microphone. Dear it did. Lord. Oh, um it did. And it didn't work. It did but not then, work. But then they came out with the newer systems where the CD actually snapped in, and yeah. then it was like, oh, yes. game changer. You can oh, the game changer. The little circle but, thing with the little, the little. Yeah, totally. Little, but you yeah. still had like the auxiliary, yeah. uh, the the thing, and, right. the, and the cassette that would pop into your. Oh God. They were all cassette oh, players at that point. My it was an adapter. There were no there were no CD players in no. car stereos. No, oh, no. My so it was goodness. adapter. Oh, it was God. an adapter on a cassette, and you put it in. There was a cable oh, that came out. Yes. No way. Yes. Yeah, dude. yes. Dude, that's insane. Welcome. It Welcome was, to our world. It was wow. amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's... Welcome to our time. Dude, it was. We had cool cars with that shit. In yes, we yeah. did. Okay? We did. It was like Knight Rider. Yeah. It was like that. It was. See, I remember. I remember it, was, when... it was Knight Rider, but like literally zero advancement at all. Zero yeah. advancement. It had no technology None. involved at None. all. It was like. Wires. Are you kidding? It was, dude, so it was a fake like, tape. I remember. I remember stuck it in the tape holder. I remember seeing that. Never used it, but I remember seeing them. I finally was able to drive and got a sound system. It was in the back of the car. It right. was a twelve CD. Oh, it, it yeah, was the, the oh the yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. The trunk. Well, you loaded sure. them up. Loading's yeah, 12, yeah. But that's it. Yeah. If yeah. you want anything else, you had to pull over. Yeah. Oh my god, I remember. <laughs> and that. It was like a little box. Yeah. Oh my god, yes. with a yes. side door. Oh yes. yeah, I remember. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. CD yeah. changer. Oh yeah. yes. That's where I came. It had in. the cartridge. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. The first version of them were in trunks. Yeah. Because that makes sense. And then they were in the glove box. And then Lexus and these guys started to upgrade, and you could have it in your glove box. Yeah. Oh. Open up the glove box. Right there, baby. I don't gotta go to the trunk. Right. Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right. That's right. No, so yeah. I I and my dad I used I had to pull over. Oh yeah. Change the darn oh, absolutely. <laughs> Dude, poor guy. I remember yeah, getting I out of like. I, I remember know. getting out of like. Oh, yeah. Remember getting out of like in Tower Tower uh, Records. Oh, okay. Yeah. Remember getting out of Tower <laughs> Records with your <laughs> yellow bag. Poor get out of Tower oh. Records. And you, the first place you'd go is to your trunk because oh, you'd know. load in your new, yeah. your new purchases that. in that the car. Was, I love cool going. Stuff, you guys, remember when they had the, the all the new artists and you could put on like the headphones. And just yes. Listen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Before you bought. Yes. And remember when the CD sleeves were like cardboard this yes. long and only oh, half yeah. of it was filled with the CD. Oh, yeah. And the other half was waste. just the artwork. Yeah. It was like such a waste. waste. It was incredible. Yeah. It was incredible. I really what was like the that. first CD you ever bought? Well, I got CDs. I'll never forget. I got CDs. It was uh, 1986 because uh -huh. I got Santa Claus brought me CDs. He brought me a a, a portable disc player That's so with awesome. two speakers that that were had to be wired into it. So I had like a little system, Sony speakers. I'll okay. never forget this. Santa Claus brought this for me, and the and and I and I got like three or four CDs, and they were it was Huey Lewis and the News four. No joke. Mm. Four? Yeah, that was his second record. <laughs> I know. Mean, sports. Four? Oh, sports. And then four what, was- he, he was making movies? No, <laughs> no. It was, it was, they called that record four. four. Okay. Interesting. And yeah. it was with like, um, it was with Jacob's Ladder and yeah. it was like, uh, doing it all for my baby. Yeah. yeah. That one, yeah. Hippity okay. Square was on oh, there. Oh, okay. Yeah, anyway, right. I got, uh, I got a Phil Collins record. Um, mm. yep. I got, uh, a Madonna record and I got, um, Weird Al Yankovic. No, 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 no. It was, it was. Hey, uh, you know, I think. And dad kid, bought me Hall and Oates. I think the kids are one step away from rediscovering Phil Collins. 
Because they're rediscovering Millie Vanilli right now. Millie Vanilli is exploding. It's blowing up. Dude, that doesn't make any doesn't sense make any to me sense. because they're rediscovering a group that didn't doesn't do exist. Yeah. Anything. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> no. like, the songs have exploded. Like, what? Yeah. The songs Millie Vanilli have is exploding. Blame it on the rain. Charlie. Blame it on, oh, yeah. Everybody. They're exploding. At college. Blame it on the Wait, rain. but now are what? they getting paid for that uh, or or, it, or did they get cut completely I out and it's literally the guys out. that actually sang it and or, produced it yeah. or, 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 or just, just the or, or no probably the, the it's just the, the record, record label the producer yeah. the record label and the producer yeah. like Sony or Universal anyway, or something it is like but it was the guys that produced it that actually sang on it I believe something like that yeah. it was that's something crazy. like that yeah. yes. so they were like they sang on it but they were like we're not good looking at all so they like we'll hire two models exactly I was telling Charlie the whole story yeah dude Dude, they never, but here's the deal. They so didn't bizarre. know, they didn't believe it was going to be like, they were just trying an experiment. <laughs> they had no idea. It blew up so it big. Was, right. Not only did it blow they're up. they're winning Grammy. I dude, know. Like, it's the oh, record man. of the year. No. So like, now what do we dude, do? Dude, that is so <laughs> insane. 12, 12 <laughs> million. Now, that's now gotta how be a do we show. handle this? That's got to be, I feel like 12, Ryan Murphy needs to make the Million Million Show or something. million records later. Dude, that's got to be were a like, show. Well, what have we great? done? At least guys couldn't say lick. A Ryan I mean, Murphy show. Not? That's I know. Or it's just so sad. Just, I mean, I know. It is so sad. So sad. The, the, one, the one guy is, oh, he, the he, one he guy passed yeah, away, yeah, he yeah, overdosed yeah. or something yes, like that. Yes. And then the other but guy. Fab is still out there. He's still doing it. Fab. It was Rob and Fab. He's like, he's doing, like, he's actually performing and doing shows. He can sing a little bit. Fab and like, he's doing. He's like, blame it on the rain. He's got like a little, you know, because they were both European or they were international dudes. Yeah. They didn't really speak good English. Yeah. No. I don't wow. think they spoke any English. Yeah, maybe any. <laughs> they they zero right. Are you English. kidding me, dude? They just Which found... is why then when they I were just, like, oh no, like... we're singing, everybody was like, you can't even speak <laughs> English. Like, what do you mean you're singing on these songs? They would do interviews and they'd be like, no, no, we we sing. They're like, yeah. you're singing that? Blame Who's... it on the rain. Oh my yeah. God. No yeah. Way. yeah, dude. No. Totally. Yeah, dude. Oh my God. Anyway, this is wow. blown up again. And yeah. I'll tell you what, speaking of Ryan Murphy, because of the Menendez oh, brothers thing, right. know. this crowded house, you know that... Um, don't dream it's over. Hey now, hey yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. on Libby's playlist oh, and Charlie. Oh, uh, Libby's 14 year olds. Wow. That song is exploded. Crowded wow. house. It's you amazing it's like? how these like? songs come I'm, back over, dude. Because I went through this... it. I went through it with the 70s music. Yeah, we did. Like we all did. the 70s we bands did. Did. and find all sure. that stuff. When we were growing and up. I think sure. that's what it's like for them right now with the it 90s. Is. Yeah. But they love it. Eighties and nineties. Eighties and nineties. Yeah. I mean, I mean when it. you when you think about music though, like the the creativity to me, oh, in my dude. opinion, like nineties were kind oh, of the, the last. last it was. It was a decade. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Oh my god. Because gosh. in two thousand, it started all going to shit. People were like, yeah. we don't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. There was nothing original and new. I know. And so now the music that seems to be blowing up is like a flashback to wow. those decades. Oh, yeah. it's Paul Notes. It's these guys. It's and and I'm telling you. I really, I'm so mm. thankful because, and I, and I call it like for whatever it's worth. And, and uh, Charlie, my oldest, is I think finally started. She's like, oh, wow, you're not wrong because it's interesting. <laughs> I said, you <laughs> know why they well, want their dad to be wrong? Well, of course, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, but it's cool because they'll come around. But and they and they are. But it's it's interesting. I said, you know why you like blame it on the rain? You know why you like you know don't forget my number? I was like, because they have hooks. See, these are classically yeah. written songs. They have a verse. They have a pre-chorus, which builds you up. Right. They a have a bridge. chorus, which bridge. <laughs> yeah. You instantly yeah. can sing these yeah. songs. The problem is the Drake effect became that there was just this like sort of like e amoeba of music that just never, it was like this orb that floated it was just along a, in those structure. Vibe. Right. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Yeah. And some of them and are cool. Just thinking about it, like, you know? About it, like, it's about it, it's and this, right. nobody, it almost sounded like rehearsal. Like you really were too cool to actually perform it. But I think what's happening now is kids are going like, I really actually love singing this song. And I can't sing these new songs. I can't sing them. I can right. vibe to them, but I can't sing them. Mm -hmm. And I think, to your point, the last decade yeah. of, dude, we, we, we say this all the time. We had so many. We oh got my so god! Lucky. Oh my god, bro! Eighties and nineties. Music was seventies, eighties, yeah. Sixties, seventies, eighties, nineties. Like four unbeatable. decades were. My god, oh, it's, every, real. it's really everything. You even go back everything. to like, like yeah. you even go back everything. to like the Steely Dan days. Oh yeah, and dude, like all the yacht club stuff of Michael McDonald, yeah. crazy. Kenny dude, Loggins, Led Zeppelin, Doobie Rolling Brothers, Stones, Doobie Brothers. Oh, I mean, yeah. it just goes oh, crazy, on like, and on and on. crazy. Dude, Chicago, yeah, and it goes on. We had Lionel Richie, Prince, Michael, Stevie, Patti Labelle. I mean, you. You name it, Tina Turner, Whitney oh Houston. Billy Ocean can, just goes on and Billy on. Billy Ocean. We can name literally handful after handful of not only good artists, but iconic Dude, artists. Yeah. Today, that's why when people ask it? the question yeah. like, hey, who, so who is your favorite artist? It's like, I can't I, answer I, that. I know. I, I can't. Because it's, I have like yeah. hundreds. Yeah, yeah you're right. Me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I and for never different answer. reasons. And they yeah. put me in different moves. Right. Which yeah. genre? Right. Yeah, exactly. Like, 
Exactly, bro. Yeah, you need crazy. to ask me more questions. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. Whereas today yeah. you're, you're like not framing this. Yeah, no, yeah. today you're a Swifty because yeah. there's like three people. Right. You know, yeah. literally, yeah. you have yeah. a Swifty. It's like, yeah. wow, how easy. We right. couldn't have said that. Whitney, no. Madonna. Did, no. I mean, there's no way, there's dude. thirty no. yeah. females that dominate. Which is not which is one. why I think concerts now like. Oh. Taylor's and Beyonce's are so huge because yeah, it's like no there's only else. a couple. That's well, it. You're right. Billy, you're right. Beyonce, yeah, that's it. like there's Those, only that's a it. couple they're, that yeah. are doing absolutely right. amazing music. Yeah, that, absolutely right. That deserve yeah. that type of show. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Right. Yeah. Whereas we were growing up, it was everybody. I mean, everybody was touring. You yeah. had you had legends. Yeah. all over the place, yeah. and they're still touring. I know, dude. I know. I know. Uh, we just announced Crazy. that Billy's going out on tour. Billy Joel is going back out on tour with uh, Stevie Nicks and yeah. one other person. Yeah, it's going to be an amazing oh show. Yeah, I, I wish I I always said I wish I'd been able to go to Madison Square Gardens to watch Billy Joel. I didn't. I had a couple friends that went they said it was really best show ever wow i mean best show ever. billy joel is oh yeah. my god what an iconic He's art man. dude yeah. even when we were i mean we caught like the tail end of his like of his relevant era where, mm -hmm. where but even still for him after all those years to, to, still to turn out to, tur to turn out like we didn't start the fire in 1988 yeah. oh yeah, like, yeah. record he never, of the year yeah. he like, never really stopped no like, he he finally just kind of stopped recording yes but then toured with he had I know. catalogs of I know, stuff. Dude. It was like and that's the thing. Go when do you, it. When you have the songbook like that, you can tour forever. Dude, like so yeah. my my love honestly was hip hop in the nineties. Oh, of course. oh my dude. gosh, amazing. Yeah. And for me, like I'm so thankful that there was enough hip hop in the nineties oh, yeah. where yeah. I don't like I I have stuff to listen to. Mm -hmm. like, I don't I'm not like, oh man, hip hop is gone and like no, no, I, no. you know, I, I have know. five songs. It's like, no, no. I've got a lot, no, yeah. a lot. So decade yeah. Yeah. at least worth of music. One hundred percent. It was, it was amazing yeah. in that in that. People era just knew how to write wow. songs, man. Yeah. Whether they were classic rock, hip hop, pop, R and B, adult contemporary, they knew the song structure, they understood it. Even <laughs> hip hop understood it. There was a structure Dude. to a lot of those records. Your, a lot of the West Coast hip hop TLC was Oh my gosh, yeah. Amazing. Dude. Amazing. Again, yeah. classically written songs. No, oh, yeah. Had amazing payoffs. Well, and there was there was a they, there was a lot of jazz in, influence in their music yeah. too. Yeah, you know? they were just those just horns. Super creative. It yeah. was like you know, it's like so oh. I so when I first so cool. The, the only time I met all three of them, I was in the studio. Kenny was doing Babyface was doing um, Red Light Special, mm -hmm. and, and so it was amazing. Record, it was dude. John. John B and John myself. B. Remember, remember and John B. Someone to love. Oh, dude, so he was. So we were Someone the first two artists hold. signed to Yabu. What? Yeah, we were the first two signed to, to uh, Tracy's label, to Babyface's wife's label. Are you wow. kidding me? Yeah. I that didn't was, know our that. Our deal was on Yabu. Yeah. What? So John. So you and John, John B. Oh my god. No. So listen to this. The crazy, story goes. Man. The rabbit hole gets even deeper than that. That's crazy. So John B. Originally, I was the first one signed, and I was looking for beats. And so John B. had a bunch of beats and things oh on a cassette. Oh, my goodness. So he had a demo that still to this day is like, remember demos? Know, like, nobody dude. makes yeah. demos. Yeah. And they make know, EPs, bro. and I then know. they blow up yeah. on, on they, YouTube, and then they're TikTok, you know, they're whatever they do. I know. Then they're Jelly Roll. Like, it's yep. it's literally they go from zero yeah, to six. It's true. I know. So, so true. he had a demo that was still to this day one of the best albums I've yeah, heard out of an R&B artist. Isn't that crazy? He, uh, he played, he's a classically trained pianist. His okay. mom is a piano player. Mm. Okay. And they had, uh, they had two um, uh, like full-size grand pianos in their living room face back to back. That's sick. So when she was teaching, somebody else could oh, sit on a piano oh and they would play and be able wow. to look at each other. That is so So cool. he used to play with his mom. Wow. So he was just like on the piano writing all the time. Jeez. Dude. And, and that's, see, that's... So then they ended up signing him, and he, I mean, just such a phenomenal dude. Wow. dude. I know, dude. That dude is like. I know, he's badass. He still tours, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, wow. He's still recording. He still has, he just, I heard a new song with him and uh, that dude, Tank. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is, is he our age? Yeah. He's got to be right he around. Is. Wow, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That's so crazy. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, John B., he had a voice, too. Nobody, yeah, you know, it was, it was yeah. back then. I mean, you listen, he's like. No way that back then that that, that one song that he had with uh, Babyface was like you couldn't tell the two apart. Could not tell. Which was, which oh was, I remember that. Yeah, yes, which was almost like the kind of the downfall of I him know, was like I he know. didn't have a distinct right. sound. He didn't. Right. Mm. Where people were like, no. like, you know, oh they they heard him singing on a song. No, he literally like, sounded oh, like Babyface. Yeah. He sounded just like Babyface yeah. on that song. He did. He did. Mm. And then it was like, oh well, uh, we already have a Babyface. I know. Like you know. I know. I know. You're absolutely right about that. But 
I had a couple. I bought a couple of his singles. Did you? Yes. John B's. Yes. That that song I was just singing was one of my favorite. Someone to love. Oh my God, dude. Someone to hold, someone to touch, yeah. someone to love. That was that yeah. was the one that he did with Babyface, where they sounded identical. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, identical. I know, but it was good, dude. It was a good mm. record. Really good song. Yeah, really good song. That's so crazy. I can't believe that. Yeah, what a small world. So base. I mean, Babyface was writing all the biggest stuff, dude. Babyface. He was. He was so unique, you know. And and you could tell it was a Babyface track. The oh, minute, yeah. me, you heard it. You were like, oh, that's Babyface. The, the lyrics. Yeah. yeah. What he What he yeah. did for Tony Braxton. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Woo. I yeah. mean, he Boys wrote to men. Like, oh, oh my, my gosh. Yeah. Come on now. No, Woo. Good, good I mean, music. John and I were in the studio when Boys to Men were recording something with. So, oh my wow. goodness. So, Kenny used to have us in every once in a while because he was like, oh, it's like two white guys that are like doing yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he would bring us in to watch what he was doing. I wasn't paying attention enough. I wish I was older and yeah. didn't take right? it so for granted. Right. Like, I look oh. back on so much of my life and it's like, man, I. Me too, man. I thought everybody. Had those opportunities. Yeah. No, totally. Yeah. I'm with you on that yeah. for sure. Traveling, yeah, of course. Yeah, doing dude. cool stuff. Yeah. I know. And also, this the ease of it. Like it just rolled. You know, it yeah, rolled dude. into one job. It rolled into one yeah. opportunity. It rolled into another. job. I just and... assumed it was like that forever. Yeah, me too, man. I know. I was me like, too. oh, this is what it is. Like, yeah. oh, I'm I, working now. Like, I'm just gonna work forever. That's, and I'm not yeah, gonna. Have to <laughs> that's what happens when you try. Young. Young. Like, yeah. I, well, I got through the grind part. Now I just get to work. Right. The grind. So I'm done with the grinding. Right. I've been doing acting class my whole life. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna work. I'm in now, people. Yeah, I'm good. I'm golden. And then, and then, boy, that rug was pulled out from oh, under yeah. me. You realize fast. 35 years in, like, wait a minute, you got to grind again like you never ground Dude, before. Dude, 90210, <laughs> 90210 <laughs> ended, and it was like, oh my so first people, they would treat it like I had like I had started acting with 90210. And it was I know, like, right. no, I like I was doing this 15 years before 90210. Yeah. That, like, I've, crazy? I've been in SAG since I was nine. I've been in SAG yeah. longer than my fiance has been alive. Isn't like, that... I, it's insane. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, my, for real. No, me, dude, I'm sure, dude. dude. For real. I've been it's in SAG crazy. for 43 years. Yeah. So, oh, it's yeah. Crazy. Yeah. 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 Really yes. So, yeah. Wow. Dude, we got you. We've got you beat for sure. Is yeah. that unbelievable? Yeah. Yeah. It's unbelievable. So, so all of a sudden it was like, wow. I had to reprove myself as an actor to people. I know. Dude. And it was dude, like, I, I just know. go watch all the stuff I know. that I've I done. know. I know. We, oh, we, we have to, I, I have a similar experience when you, when you wrap a big show and then the, and the agents are like, well, we need a new headshot. We need a, we need a reel. Oh, we've You're seen like, what a he reel? does. Too. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. What, what do you know? need a reel? What? what right. are, like, yeah. I have, I'm on yeah. more film yeah. than right. Jack Nicholson. Right. Is. Like, yeah. I, what do you yeah. need yeah. a reel? That's what yeah. real? Bro. I, was like, I, I always say like, all the time. I, yeah. I mean, I did my job on Blossom too well because because I was a kid, right? So you start that show like I did at 13. And at 15, 6, 16, when, when all that success was coming and everything, they literally thought I was that character. They well, thought you were a dumb To the point jock. where then they yeah. had, then they then they wanted a 25-year-old versus they had Matt LeBlanc play that, basically the same character. They renamed him Joey, put it yeah. on Friends, and he won Emmys. Right. And I was yeah. like, well, but but for me, you were so, I was you that were guy. You were so good on that I show. I was man. that guy. Right. I wasn't they acting, they apparently. They didn't, they didn't think you were acting. the same thing. We're going to need a reel. And a new, I was like, yeah. what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. I mean, Look at I just I just played this and did I'm not. Did you when that when that was done? Did you go through that stage of like okay I need to change my name like I need to Absolutely. change my stuff like I, did I need to change it up. I'll tell you what happened and I and I need like people to forget that I did that because yeah. I made that mistake. Also. I made that mistake too. You you get I caught remember, up but into, that was it, it was an well, era stigma that, though. Yeah, that it was wasn't a, your guys' fault. Was it, was the, it was a time where that, that was, was a time it was you a guys weird came time. Up. Where, Do you remember like Ricky Schroeder changed it to Rick Schroeder when he did NYPD Blue? Absolutely. Or whatever it was, and everyone was like, "Oh, that's the way to do it." Well, and do you remember all the all the Disney kids that came up in that era as well? They all had to do the same thing, or they all lost their minds, or had to like do something really risque, or do something crazy to to drop the, the stigma. That was that period, it that was, time period. It was, right. it was. It's just It's just a different time period. And now you have people like, it's not even considered that way anymore. Like no. Sabrina Carpenter. She got her, well, again, she, she was been working before that, but she got kind of her start on Girl Meets World, which was mm -hmm. a spinoff of Boy Meets World. Okay. Yeah. And did she never, I did not know that. She never yeah. had any issue uh, with dropping the whole Disney no, the, thing. No, it's the opposite now. No. You pick up that fan base and yeah, they just now she, stay yeah, right there with absolutely. you. Absolutely. It's finally, we had it's a totally weird different time. And we've talked about this so many, so many times, Matt and Andy and I, but we had, a, we grew up in a very weird period of time where for some reason, entertainment in this industry before us, like right before us, mm -hmm. up until like the late 70s, you could do everything. 
You could literally like sin, like Sinatra or right. the Jacksons Sing, or the Osmonds. If you yeah. actually you wanted be, to. It you was a be, triple threat. If, yeah. You wanted that. They were, yeah. right. I mean, yeah. Sinatra was the voiceover of several brands. He was acting and winning Academy Awards. He was winning Hosting, Emmys, he winning was Grammys. Sammy Davis Jr., yeah. all these guys. Yeah. The, yeah. the Jacksons, the Osmonds, they were doing everything. That was the thing. For some reason, in 1980s, mm-hmm. like the early 80s, it was like, hmm, wait a minute now. We must cut these things up into segments. Yeah, so if true. you're in TV... You are not a movie star. Yeah. If you're in movies, yeah. it is insulting to be on television. True. Right. We, if you're singing, you can't act. Right. If you're acting, you can't sing. It was sing. such a. Str- it was more of a. You had to really battle. And it people were made fun of. The few what people that had weird, the power though, to do it. How? So how was it for you going from acting to singing? It was very difficult. It's super because, difficult. Because singing for me was first. I was singing, which is why when I auditioned, yeah, but nobody knew that. Nobody, nobody knew, knew that. that. When I was doing all those national commercials that first year, I did like 50 commercials, which is mm. why the, when Carson saw me, they put me on there because I was that kid that was in all. Those commercials, right? Mm-hmm. So they thought, but I had to audition for the show. I I sang and danced. That's how I got on that show. Right? You didn't acting. do it. You didn't do a monologue. No. Right. <laughs> so and then they let me perform two songs on that show it, during my interview. I was on there for like fifteen minutes, which is unheard of. Yeah. And 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 anyway, it was singing and dancing. But what did NBC do? Sign me to a deal as an actor. And then I always wanted to make records, but it wasn't until the success that I had on Blossom where I finally had enough power to go. I want to make a record, and I want you guys premiere the video after the show and they did and it exploded and it crushed. Do but you feel though now like it's easier for singers to cross over yes. into acting oh, yeah. than yes. actors Big into time. singing? Well, I think the well, Andy's And point, why is that? I, don't, I have no, no idea, but I think the Andy's That doesn't point. make any sense. It's a different era. It's it, weird. It, but it's, I mean, but it, even like right now, like yeah. if I was going to go do an album right now, it was, it's like, dude, good luck. Yeah, good luck. I, well, I know. Like such an uphill climb. Yeah, it is. But, but for somebody who yeah. is just doing films and stuff or yeah. doing music, to all of a sudden you put him in it, it's like the bar. Yeah, you're right. Goes way low. And people are like, yep. he was good for you're like, right. you know, for a singer. He was so it's true. Like, it's like, why don't I get that as an, an actor? actor? I don't know. And, and, you, and you even look at Why like, don't I get like, hey, dude, he's good for bro, an actor. Yeah, yeah, an actor. Have you ever heard perfect example of Robert Downey's record? No. It's great. Is it? It's great. He's very talented. Wait a minute. He made an amazing record. I had no idea. Amazing record. There you go. I didn't no, know. No, 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 it's Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. Wow. It came, it, didn't come, it came out not that long. Like it was not, it was like right when he did Iron Man. Wow. Wow. Did not know that. Well, they wow. all, they all try like Depp, um, Bruce Willis, Russell Kevin Crow. Bacon. They all yeah. got bands. They records. all try, but, but nobody it doesn't. Wants, yeah, Kevin Costner goes out and tours yeah, with his guitar, like singing country songs. It's like, I what know. Are, it's weird. Kevin Costner. Yeah, <laughs> like, Kevin Costner. The only right. one that really did it, honestly, was, was, um, Johnny Steve, Steve Martin and playing the banjo. Oh my God. He really succeeded he with did. that. Like he's taken, he he's crushed. like really taken oh, as one of the great he's banjo, one of the players. Best banjo players yeah. in the world. Yeah. 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 Steve Martin. Yeah. 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 Who, by the way, doesn't age. I want to know what Steve Martin's oh doing. Oh my God. He literally, well, he's, this guy's almost 80. But dude, he's looked that way since I Father know, of the dude, Bride. But, right. He's he, had he, gray he, hair he, since he was like 30. Yeah, so it's like, no, there's been what aging is there for him. Right now, but just the way he actually looks, though, is incredible. He's like 70. So is Martin Short. They both look great. They're both in their. Martin Short's a little younger, but not much. You know who's an amazing musician Jeff Daniels really like, unbelievable musician amazing yeah. writes music amazing yeah. huh. wow yeah. so I just feel like we got stuck in that era man where it was really cut up and then with social media and this new age you know now, ruined it all people are allowing kind of people to go back to sort of doing a little bit of everything and it's you not have to. what do you mean you can right. host you can come up with records you can be on TV you can do movies well now it's a, now you do everything well, now, yeah, just, now they realize it's, it's back to what it used to be right. that a that a it's fan just base it's just entertainment that right. a fan base follows you exactly back it doesn't then, matter they they were so greedy they didn't yeah. realize that a fan base would follow you and they they now have just rediscovered that oh wait fans well, are fans and a fan base wasn't as important honestly not, at that time no. like it was you're either getting ratings on whatever you're yeah, doing I know. Right. but now it's like oh fans yes follow you onto social media That's right. all of a sudden you have this many followers yeah. you have this many views then That's it's right. like let's try you in everything it's let's so see weird. because we, let's make money in as many possible exactly. ways and maybe I might be just disconnected at this point because, and I can't believe I'm going to say it but there are some people that have a huge following that I have no I've never heard oh, of oh you're super disconnected <laughs> yeah, <you're> super <laughs> I mean disconnected. I don't know That's- what? No I question. Know. I, I'm like, what is no going on? No question. Who are these people? I know. I know. What I know. Some people come across my feed. I'll, I'll go to their profile and be like, 70 million yeah, followers. I'm like, totally. I'm like, I know. I'm like, who, who is this? Person? Right. Yeah. right. 70 million followers. Right. Right. I don't right. know what the hell. And I have zero clue of this person. <laughs> right. What are the accolades yeah. that deserve them, all and of this And some of them have zero influence, too. They have all these followers, but I, they don't do anything. Like, I've never, I, I mean, they must this have known the world. This seems to be funny, though. Like, it, it's... 
because for a minute it seemed like those type of people were getting these amazing they opportunities. Were. Yes, they yeah. were. But then they weren't, it wasn't crossing there over was no the same way. They were failing yes. in the things they were doing. Yeah. And people started going, oh, okay, you just stick to the YouTube Dude. videos you're doing because yeah, they're hysterical. But like we should not be putting three hundred million dollars into like a different thing. People aren't going to watch you for an hour and a half. It's really going to watch you for forty minutes I always, on TV. Right. I always say, right? Yeah. They'll 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 deal with like thirty seconds. It's really easy time of to sit room. on the toilet and scroll for free, but when yes. you have to actually put in pay the effort yeah. to right. do something, pay or well, or even make love, an effort. I love sitting on the toilet. I mean, who does it? Who does it? Dude, I dude, I get lost. I'll be like, it's like seven a.m. I'm like, I got a few minutes. I can sit here and scroll. 9.30, I'm I like, know. oh my God, I missed you know, my you day. You try to stand up and your legs are numb. I know, I know. What the heck has right. happened yeah. here? Two it's, and a half hours? I remember, I remember when I was younger, my dad used to I do know. that with magazines. Yeah. Yeah. There's always yes. a basket yes. of magazines. Yeah. Like, so and true, I never understood man. it because I was like, get in and get yeah. out. Like, I, I, know. I know. Now it's like, oh, I love so that. My I cherish that. Our grandfather Our grandfather would take the paper. And 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 my See later, read boys. The whole thing. He'd be like, yeah. see, and, and I'll never in forget. My mom would be like, "There goes. We're not going to see him for yeah. hours." Yeah, you go in the front to back, back to front. I never got it. Yeah. I never yeah. understood I it. Now I totally and get now it. I love it. I know. Me it's too, like, man. It's the greatest hour and a half of my life. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> in my bathroom, all by myself. It really is a thing right? because I have read. <laughs> I've read studies about this. No, it's it's. I walk back out. My fiance is staring at me like, really. Two and a half hours. I, know, I, know. I was like, you know, dude, and you can't it? really. Sending some emails. emails. I had no emails excuse for it. Yeah. It's like no. I just got lost. Sorry. I know. I know. I know. I know. Went it down is. a rabbit hole, babe. I'm so sorry. I know. But I'll tell you what, I've got an extensive knowledge of the most stupid stuff you've ever heard of. (laughs) Did you know that Joe and his brother, they're doing a whole new thing now? (laughs) I know. It came up like four times. (laughs) It is amazing. No, it really is. It really is is amazing when you cross over to that age and those kind of things really. But it's it's a real thing. I'm serious. I've I've read studies about this. Like, apparently we're not alone. Like, 90% of men find solace in the bathroom. They do. Yeah, it's (laughs) true. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it's called a a throne for a reason. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We 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 feel like the kings for a moment. Sure. It's really funny, but it's it's my throne. Really wild stuff. (laughs) Gonna be really good. It is. uh, It is. It is an amazing thing. And I and I and I I just I just wonder. uh, You know how many more uh, stereotypes that you fall into as you age? You know, like sure, all of them. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Get up and that thing. I'm. What do you mean? I'm already doing that. You already are doing that. Yeah. I. Yeah, I find myself making noises now when I sit down <laughs> or get up. <laughs> and like people will laugh and it's like, God. and I'm not doing it because it necessarily hurts, yeah, but it's just, kind of like a, I'm just letting out yeah, some yeah. energy yeah. that oh. it normally takes yeah. to sit down now. So, so it's true, like, man. oh boy, this seat, <laughs> yeah. this seat feels great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what a chair. Uh, <laughs> and then I hear myself and I go, oh my oh, God, so embarrassing. Fart. You old So fart. the show, our podcast is called Oldish and like okay. the first episode- oh, like I sat down. We're gonna to we're gonna be it. on it by the way at some yeah. point. Yeah, yeah they're okay. gonna be on it. All right, all right, cool. I sat down and I was like, oh, I made that sound. Nice. This, <laughs> the name yeah. of this show is so appropriate. Isn't that weird? Yeah. It goes so fast. I know, I know people talk about it all the time, but it really, dude. It it does. It, so it's so like you look back and you're going like, oh my god, I cannot believe. Like people tell me like, you know, ninety three is thirty one years ago. I mean, eighty is almost fifty. You've looked the same age though for like twenty years. Yeah, get out of here. I appreciate it, man. You haven't changed either, dude. Well, no, but no. you. Okay, thanks. Yeah, well, but Joe sleeps in a cryo chamber. No, I was going to say, yeah. yeah, you're 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 drinking something. You have it, something. It get... gets bad when we walk in hey, a room. Did you, and... did you order that stuff that I, I sent you? I did order that. Stuff. <laughs> what is Joe, it? I, whenever we go, go it? come on social media, and I find like some sort of anti aging. Yeah. I send it to yeah. Joe. I just order it because I know he's going to buy it. I don't want to buy it myself just yet, but I love it because he'll buy it. Some cream, some moisturizer. Whatever. It doesn't work. Nothing, nothing works. I have some new moisture. Do you? Does it? I've been trying it. It's trying... like beef tallow or yeah, something. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh my it's God. like a little black oh thing. Same. It's on Instagram. Same it's, stuff. They don't leave you alone with the beef tallow. It's the one thing you need. Right. right? Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I, 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 I ordered that too. A little beef tallow, a little yeah, aloe. It, it supposedily evens your skin. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 I know. You found this on Instagram? Yeah. Yes, wow. the beef tallow. I'm not you sure. just sit back for yeah, a second. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about some grown folks. You little yeah, bastard, this guy. Yeah. 
I know. Baby 37. over there. 37. 36. Yeah. That's so young. You know how really I know he's young? It. Because he's still growing the facial hair. I like, know. I did I know. that yeah. because it was like, I thought that was awesome. Yeah. And exactly. then you get older and it's I know. like, I'm that reverse. just makes me look old. Yeah. Yeah. I need to, yeah. I need to, it gives me a little bit of maturity. Yeah, I know. It yeah, this year my beard went white. I, I did didn't it? have any, oh, dude, I never white. had anything. Mine's gray. I got white. a lot of, I got a lot of beard. I have gray hair. I don't have gray, I don't have any gray in my beard yet. Not funny? Not a gray hair. It happens. But it happens no all hair. of a sudden. No gray hair yet. Is really? It, no, is it weird, no right? No hair. By I the way, I had nobody. no gray hair. Here's the deal. I had no gray hair until I hit 45. And None. Then, boom. Yes. So my dad was completely gray by the time he was like 32 or something. Wow. Really? Gray like white, like a cutie. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. So the fact okay. that I didn't do that, I was like, okay. That's good. That's, that's, that's good. good. That's yeah. good. Well, you get a combo from your mom. Boys get a little more from their moms, they say. But yeah, uh, yeah we're, I mean, we're lucky because our, our dad's super bald. Yeah, bald. Really? Super bald. Yeah. yeah. So Completely we still when did he When did he, when did he lose his hair? Oh, uh, dude, like 25. Oh, really? Seven early. But he, but they had all the wrong information back then too. Because dad, they told them that. Um... <laughs> Why are you <laughs> laughing? Because he gets, <laughs> so it is very traumatic when you think about it. They told him to stimul stimulate the follicles. So every night. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> he would stand and rub you, off all of his all hair. Of his hair. <laughs> do you remember right. when? Hold on. Do you remember when yeah. Dad used to dry our hair? Yeah. It was painful. Oh was. my Wait, gosh. I, oh like, yeah. my like, gosh, you're right. Like his hands would hit your yeah, head. Yeah. You're right. He'd, he'd be like, be so violent. I That's would right. hate when because we would get up for work and they would they made make me dry my. He would like Dad would dry my hair before I went to the set. That was the worst thing ever. I worst. still have baggage from. Yeah, that. me too. Those damn I still have baggage cups. having to freaking get Wait, my hair done. Yeah, how old were you guys awful. when he was drying your 18, hair? Because 19? I would have. No, I'm just kidding. Right, you right. weirdo. So Weird. I remember that yeah, I was yeah, a legal yeah, adult. Yeah, I was yeah, drinking yeah. a beer, yeah. but he was still drying Just my hair. Dad, yeah, I'm hungover, yeah. man. Right. Make this snappy. But my snappy. mom picked out this great outfit that I wore <laughs> for the day. It was a vest short combo. It was oh, fantastic. Oh, yeah, you know what, dude? dude you they're probably see, yeah. They're see some of the outfits. That I, they're not even up on. My the floor. mom decided to because we were blessed with having a wardrobe department. So mom really took advantage of that, oh, and yeah. they would make me like these ridiculous custom outfits that were her like her dream to see me in. <laughs> He's like paisley, ridiculous clown outfits as a oh, kid. Yeah. It was With like overalls. Oh, it was yes. torture. You yeah. looked like bubbles. It was torture. Yes. 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 Yeah. I think Andy was my Bro, mom. Joe bubbles. just carried yeah. you. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. did carry and him. It was yeah. so bad that my. That you carried him so much. Sorry. He didn't walk. <laughs> he, got, he, he didn't walk. Yeah. He, did. he didn't walk. He didn't walk. He never my mom said, You have to put him down. Took a while. Took a while because we carried him. Do you remember that the extensive wardrobe, custom overalls got so bad that I was I was like my first girlfriend in like elementary school? Daniela. Oh, my God. She was on. On the show as like Girl. a guest, as like uh -huh. a guest spot, as like a as my as my love interest, mm -hmm. and my mom. Wait, how old were you? I was your love seven, interest. six or seven. So, like okay. it was like you know, kids. Right. Stuff. So like, like you guys held hands. Yeah, we like, held yeah, hands. Exactly. Love yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, totally, yeah. yeah we, we yeah. looked at each other, and that was it. Yeah. Um, but uh, we made my mom like got her these custom overalls made. And she hated them. And I remember her mom made her wear them oh, to the right. set. And I remember it came up like like somehow it came up that she was like so miserable oh God, so in these funny. overalls. But the mom, but Muddy V was trying her best to yeah. be polite. And it was just like the worst, man. These terrible yeah. overalls. Well, you know, I, yeah. I I had the bowl cut in the 80s, you know. You so that, oh, yeah. You were famous God, for the bowl cut. I know, cut. dude. And, and I just remember it was, I hated it so much. My, you can't you can't claim it like it was just a random haircut you no. had like it was oh, the haircut I know that you I, know, I know you were the little redhead kid with the bowl cut I know yeah. dude on I commercials know, I know. and on TV that's shows that's it that's yeah. it yeah. so the, and my mom would dry this thing like this oh, yeah. I bet right? and I'll remember with, that like round brush oh, right? yes. oh yeah. yeah and it would get a little frizzy and I'll never forget that like halfway through it was either my mother or somebody else going like this yeah. Yeah. worst oh, oh yeah, yeah. and stick. I'd be like little I never seen her going like this will do it I remember this I remember going like this is the worst. I hate this so much. Yeah. Oh my god! I loved the work. I didn't like that part. Yeah. I loved working. I hated that part yeah, so much, yeah. and that's why I buzzed it. You know, when I finally had like my 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 total. So did, I. Uh, did you? I yeah. buzzed mine. Yeah, yeah. totally. On nine hundred two one zero. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it was so, like ninety four or something. Yeah, it was I was crazy. Like, done. It all off. Done. We rebellious. It was the great. Yeah. Well, it was just great because it was like for me. Going from being a young actor, it was all yep. like the feathered yeah. hair. Of course. Yeah. It was the whole Dude, that's thing. what we came out of was yeah. hair, hair, yeah. hair, hair. Yeah. So 100%. then all of a sudden I was on that and I was like, man, I don't want to have to do this right. stuff yeah right. every day it's yeah awesome. no of course yeah, dude like you awesome. shave your head and it's and like it you cool take look. a shower oh it's the greatest dude it's I the know. greatest I did, I did it too I loved, so it. I loved it I loved it I got I when I finally got out of the, the nest and got on Boy Meets World I did the same thing I, I mean I didn't shave it but I cut it to like an inch yeah I spiked it all up like as yeah. like I was in the military or yeah I loved yeah. it so loved cool it. no it yeah. was great it was so great I loved it so much but anyway that was my and then people thought I was dying and then people said they did and then people
And then I was like, okay. I, I better back. grow this back. Yeah, yeah I grew back a little bit, but it's still nice and short. It's still yeah. really short. Yeah. 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 You have and, like an army cut. Yeah. yeah. But it's all gray on the sides. Not, not so much on the top, but dude, the sides are gray. They're gray. Yeah. yeah. I have three daughters, you know. Dude, I just, so I just had my buddy, uh, Freddie Prince Jr. Yeah. On, oh, on yeah. Show. That's awesome. And he Freddy. is almost all gray. <laughs> And really? I haven't seen him for a while. Oh, wow. And he walked what in. I was like, wow. And it's just that reminder of like, yeah. oh, yeah, that's, Dude. you know, Isn't look in the weird? mirror, bro. You see some people too, I, and I'm sure you see it too, because you look great for your age, but I mean, you see some people that just, that y y they're your age and you're going like, what? Why do I, wait a minute. Is that how I, wait, I do, yeah. Do you, ever see yourself... do you ever see people and you go, what? Yeah. yeah what is wait, going Wait, that's on? not, I don't look. No, that, like that. right all the time. I'm thinking, like, do I look like that? Because all right. that, that, I don't feel like that. That, that dude looks really old, and he's right. right. Like, I don't think I look like that, but I guess maybe I do know the people. But dude, it is dude, weird. beef tallow is like beef beef tallow. Is, <laughs> I gotta get on this beef tallow. I'm telling you, I was talking to beef somebody. Tallow. I was talking <laughs> to somebody the I other day. I have so a little black. A little black. Yes, you guys. I literally have you it, bro. Swindled, I got a three bro. pack of it because oh it was cheaper. It's better. It's a better yeah, deal. Yeah. It's yeah. a better money. deal. Yeah, you won't need it for a while. I don't know and if it they, works, they suckered but, me in. Know, yeah. uh, I, I saw it so many kept coming up my feet. Oh, guys, dude, I got to get it. I got to get it. That's, that's, a, that's get called swindled. I know. I know. Catfished. Yes, I know. I was talking to somebody the other day and I was like- Catfished by beef. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Wait a minute. You're not what you said you were. You're not what you said you were, you little bastard. I was talking to this guy and I was treating him like he was some authoritarian figure. I was calling him sir. I was like, yes, sir. And then he he was four years younger than me. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck am I doing? I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, sorry. Oh my God, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. That's Dude, awesome. That's I, know. Awesome. I was like, you're, you're like significantly so a lot great. younger yeah. than I am. That's funny. You look a yeah, lot older, I've, I've noticed it in, in work. Um, you become the oldest guy. Well, not I'm not that the oldest, but I'm like, oh, I'm, they're all my peers now. Right, they're, not, they're not hiring you for yeah. kid roles yeah. now. Yeah, no. They're hiring you as parents. Yeah. It's like, you know. As soon as they yell, Kyle. like, oh my God, I'm playing these roles now. I know, I know. I remember the guys that play these roles. Exactly. Of course. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, they're old men. Yeah, yeah. old men. Never going to do that. That's going to be no. years. And then you for have me. the conversations yeah. and you're having with like the adults and then you see the younger ones around and you're like, and you. You change the way you talk, and I remember them doing the same thing to me. And be like, what are those adults talking about? Yeah. And now I'm having the conversation. Yeah. I know, <laughs> isn't weird. it weird? So you know weird. who never changes between kids and adults? Charlie Sheen. He's always just the same. <laughs> oh <laughs> wow! Same. Gosh, Charlie Andy, Sheen's come awesome. on. <laughs> Yeah, he's great. I oh. worked with him for a while. He's one of the nicest guys Charlie, Charlie yes. just had, <laughs> ever. Charlie just had a whole, neck, his whole neck, neck done. Yeah. He, 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 I, he did a whole thing on it. I right? shot yeah. next yeah. to Spin City when I was great. a little kid, and he was always the coolest dude. But he was like, treat me like an adult. Like he would have adult conversations yeah. with me, and I was shocked. So I was um, shooting uh, this Terminator series on yep. the Warner Brothers lot, and oh, yeah. he was doing Two and a Half Men. That's right. You did Terminator. Mm. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, which. It's funny. So the whole, you know, I came out of, uh, yeah. and then I'll get back to the Charlie yeah, yeah, Sheen story. Yeah. So I came out of 90210 and there was the whole right. thing of like, okay, I'm going to drop my middle name. Right, right, like, right, I'm going right, to do right. something different. Mm -hmm. right. gonna, you know, like make people forget that that ever existed. Right. And then you, you quickly realize like, okay, that doesn't work. It does not no. work. <laughs> so now I just need to be really good in other things. Mm -hmm. That's it. So then people remember you for your body of work That's instead of is. just the one project. That's what it yep. is. That's what it like, is. Like, you know, Schwarzenegger could have easily been remembered as the guy from Terminator. For sure. The guy from, you know, yeah. Conan. Like it was, he, he was. Yeah, for sure. He was like in line to for just sure. be that dude. I know. And he did so many oh things God. that people like, then, twins. people then Which remember his lives. name more so yeah. than the name of those projects. 100%. Yeah. You know? exactly. yep. yeah. And exactly. they became fans of his career. So I was exactly. like, oh, okay, I get that it. That is the way, that is the only thing you have to do. There is no escaping your past. You embrace it and just it's, be good in, in you everything you can. But you, but you have to then focus on being really good in yep. the other things. You, like you can't. You can't rely on your name and just nope. go, okay, I'm just going to do Dial what I've always in. done. Yep. No. And I'm just going to phone this in nope. and people no. are going to recognize me. It's I like, know. oh, then I'm only going to play the guy from now to now. That's yeah, right. For my sure. Yeah. Exactly right. I feel yeah. you. I feel you. So, so, so Charlie Sheen was that I would walk past his stage to get to the commissary and the gym and he would be outside smoking every once in a while. And he was the nicest guy in the world. And we used to spend like... 20 minutes talking where they would come out the door and they go, oh, Charlie, we need you. You know, you're making a TV show. <laughs> you, so did you forget? Cool. It's so, so cool. um, so then I ended up, uh, this guy that I did, uh, a show with Freddie Prince jr. On, 
Uh, Bruce Helford was his name. He he was one of the head writers on Roseanne. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. I was like, wait, I know that name. Yeah. He's one of the creators now on The Connors, which I, right. I did for a little while. Right, right, right. right. Um, and he ended up doing Anger Management, Charlie Sheen's show oh, nice. for yeah. FX. Mm. So he called me and was, he was like, hey, yeah, I have a character. Didn't they pick that show up for like 100 episodes to start, right? So, so it, was a, oh it was a 1090 deal, it was called. Oh my God. So Listen to that. you yes. do 10 episodes, yes. and if the numbers are or they exceed what you're hoping Listen then this. they would pick you up for the back 90 oh, episodes and they and they did right they did. they did they had to because everybody was curious like wow. he was coming off of two and a half men and right. tiger's blood and right. all the crazy right. stuff winning, winning yeah i got tw <laughs> so <laughs> everybody tuned in, in four hours yeah. yeah everyone tuned in to to see the first 10 episodes so i did the first oh. one and then i was like okay i played like his his um ex-wife's current boyfriend or okay. whatever okay so i went and did one and i was like okay thanks you know good luck mm -hmm. with the show and everything and then i get a call from bruce randomly and he was like hey so you want to come do like 45 more or so um, and i was like yes yeah <laughs> like oh so God. i did the entire back did half you really? of the run oh, yeah. oh my, my gosh, gosh. yeah that's, that's great badass. dude that's awesome yeah wow. and it was great it was wow. but charlie is if we had a scene it in like a restaurant set, they built all that, and there were seventy-five background actors. He, when he got to set, would walk around and introduce himself to every single one mm. of them, shake hands, wow. get really cool. their names. Most of the crew followed him from Two and a Half Men over That's to awesome. that show, oh, wow. even though Two and a Half Men was still going, right? Because they were like, "We're we're our loyalty is with Charlie." Wow. wow. Amazing. Dude, that's is, wild. Is, is, and you know what? What a what a great story yeah. that is. Cause so many times, and especially in this day and age, these these narratives take off and oh, they yeah. get embedded. Everybody jumps on, everybody wants to be a part of a narrative. They get embedded so quickly, right? Because yeah. first impressions for most people are well, the ones. Especially that stick. now with social media. Oh God. Yeah. Forget it. And you know what? It's like wild. like there's such a another side to so many of them. And yes, you never get credit for any of those other sides. Charlie you know, you Sheen just get, yeah. is just an incredibly yeah. brilliant man. Yeah. Like yeah. really smart. He remembers yeah. things where you're like, like he can remember a, a, like a baseball team from like the fifties. Like he, like mm. you can, you can randomly name something and he'll go, oh yeah. And he'll name everybody that was in it. That, like he's one yeah. of those, mm. like a beautiful mind kind of people. Interesting. So crazy. So I think then, you mm. know, he, for him, like, Average life, the life that we live, it bores the crap out of him. Like right. he needs more, mm. right. yeah. which is why then I think he went through a time of like searching, trying to for, find that, yeah. and then yeah. realized like this isn't the way to find it. But right. he yeah. went through. I mean, it all makes of sense it. when you think about his life. I mean, the ups, the highs of his. I mean, for his whole life, uh, he's with had, his brother and his dad. He's had must the have longest been... career too. I mean, yeah. like I, yeah. I was watching Ferris Bueller's Day Off oh the other day, and Drugs. I was like, oh my god, you know, like, dude, I mean, dude, that was. Think about this. That's that's such a testament to like no small parts because that was one, one scene, scene, dude, yeah. and literally yeah. launched his career. Off yeah, that. yeah, oh yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's your name? Shout out Shana. Right? Yeah. Oh, God. oh my God. Yeah. What are you in here for? Drugs? Yeah. No, no I'm what, not. Yeah. What are you in here for? Drugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Just> so <laughs> yeah. yeah. So great. Why are you so uptight? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, dude. You know, I know a guy. If you say Ferris Bueller, Oh, you know. <laughs> so good, dude. But the way he yeah. underplayed yeah, that. timing yeah. was perfect. Oh, yeah. he was my that head. Yeah, God. his timing was yeah, dude, that really movie, spot on. Phenomenal. He was great. Yeah. Another thing we we, we I just played it for like my that. kids. Oh, my God, dude. Oh. It's a watch. Oh. It's a and they were like, they kind of got it, no, but dude, not so really. Good. It's so good. It's so good. Well, so nobody, good. The, 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 mm. ditch days are different. Now, like yeah. it's a whole the whole yeah, thing is different now. Different. Well, the whole like he had a stereo in his yeah. bedroom that yeah. had like yeah. an God. equalizer, oh, oh, and like he, oh, oh. you know, like that, and yeah, my yeah. kids were like, Who would possibly be faked by like you know a yeah. mannequin like laying in a bed with like snoring sound yeah. on the stair? But I was like, back No, you day, don't understand. Back you in the day, pull that, like, off. that was not you could pull no, it off back yeah. in the day. We just that watch was, the damn movie, please. Brilliant yeah. back yeah. in the day. I was like, That dude is like, he's looking around the corner, he's way ahead of the curve. Dude, the coughing was unbelievable when he's on the scene. When he's on the scene, when he's talking, this is like dying. Yeah. I just yeah. talked to him on the phone. <laughs> oh my god! When that's it, right? <laughs> give me, give me somebody else. Here, you're gonna want to yeah. talk to him. Hello. Hey, first, how's hey, your boss? <clears throat> oh my god, you're dying. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so you think great. he'll be around this weekend? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. So see you then. Great. Cool. See ya. He can't die, man. Remember when the kid goes? That whole he time period, though, man. Oh films, my god. Like, the bro. Breakfast Club. Oh, yeah. dude, like the, dude. 
We had Goonies. We had Back to the Future, Pretty in Pink, 16 They're Candles. making a new Goonies. They, they are. are. I hear this. Goonies 2, right? With the original yeah. Original. I know. Rolling. How do you everybody. feel about that? You know, man, here's the deal. I just pray... I pray that it's that, I and I and I and I, you got to think. I even think they're bringing Carrie Green out of retirement because I did a movie with Carrie called Summer Rental with John Candy, where she played my sister in '85. Yeah, talk about the nicest girl ever. Yeah. Um, but she's been retired from acting. Well, Jeff Cohen. Jeff too. Cohen retired. He became an attorney. Right. I think everybody. So I just pray you got to think that they're going to be, especially Brolin. He'll be so sensitive to making it something special. You know, even though even though Richard Donner's gone, right. I feel like Chris Columbus. Hopefully you'll have See, a hand I, in it. I'm I'm a little more confident in it because they are going to bring everybody back, which makes me think that they're going to give everybody what they kind of want. Not I don't want. You know, I don't want, know, I don't want the sure, imagination. Sure, but it's like again, yeah, it's a lot of people that could are awful. no longer acting. Sure, it could I be know. treacherous. And you're yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it, it could, could be, like yeah. it's either going to Amazing, succeed yeah. spectacularly yeah. or, or be it's going to fail yeah. miserably. Yeah. It's going to be a disaster. Like you're going to have to go back and watch the first one to get the taste of that one out of you. Which happens so Yeah, there's there's not going to be a middle ground. No, I just watched Axel F. Did you? I waited 30 years for that movie because- I never watched it. Okay, dude, yeah. because Beverly Hills Cop 3 was such a piece of shit, which I yeah. will say, it was the worst movie ever. It was really bad. And I loved the first two so much. I was like, oh my God, 95. So what, 28 years I waited? I was like, thank God, they're going to get it right. I know it because they've waited 28 years to make this movie. Was that 95? 95 was three. It was the third one, yeah. What was wow, the first dude. one? 80, uh, 80 no. The first one was 83, bro. What? Yes. No, no, dude. no, no. No way, no. dude. The Did first I, Beverly Hills Cop was 1983. Yes. Matt's got this. Yes. Yes. That Beverly. seems way too uh, early. Eddie Murphy was only 21 years old. 84. A 84. Wow. They made it in 83. They, they made it in 83. All right, that's probable. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, it was released yeah, in 84. 84 so they made it yeah, well. they made it in 83. And the second one came out in 87, so they made oh it in 86. Oh, my wow. Beverly Hills Cop 2 came out in wow. 87. Yeah, yeah. And you're right, Beverly Hills Cop 3. I was only 11 when the first dude, one came out. that movie was so damn good. Yeah, dude, right. Wow. wow. Yeah, dude. You threw me through a freaking window. But I told him, I said, here was my problem, and this is your point. In those first mm -hmm. two movies, what made Axel Foley so great was that Axel Foley didn't know he was funny. Right. In yeah. the third one, he was a caricature of Axel well, Foley. Yes, totally. And in this fourth one, well, he decided that he wasn't going to do his laugh Well, anymore. I want to say this. I love, I love Eddie Murphy, and but I have like, what the, the utmost respect for him. But if anybody's out there, please tell Eddie to laugh. Because you can't... If you if you refuse to... He doesn't like to laugh because he thinks that iconically, it's stereotyped. But to him. your point, you know how and like people, Brian Green, Brian Austin Green, well, I went on, to yeah. Joseph Lawrence for yeah. a minute. Like yeah. stupid when my name's Joey, <laughs> yeah, you know. Right, like yeah. I mean, no, because but yeah. we came out of that thing again. Like right. we got to change well, something. Yeah. So he's, we're not like, good enough, right, so it yeah. has to be changing yeah. it. You know, yeah. even though you are good, I'm enough, gonna fool people yeah. by right. dropping my middle name. Exactly. Yeah. So for him, he, he said his, my his laugh. laugh became so iconic but that like, he didn't what? like it. Which was weird. So he says that he's no. actually trained himself to not laugh that way or not laugh at all. Bro, but that, laugh movie, for dude. that character, that's what that I'm was saying. such a major that's part the, of it. That's the enjoyment. How could you take the joy out of Axel F? Laugh in this movie. It was, and he played it so straight. So he refused to laugh He was laugh the boringest actor, thing in the movie, and, and like, the movie was how terrible. How are you, yeah. how... Well, How do they, you take they, that joy out of a out of a character. I don't know. Yeah, Isn't that what everybody they, wants? It's hard yeah. though. See, there's so much. You got to think though. There's so much pressure so on much, him for sure, and everybody to like Deliver really whatever. nail a that. Smash, yeah, I know, yeah. Dude. I know. You dude. waited how many years to, to 20 see twenty something, twenty something years? Like you know, years. Oh my god. They're like they're they're worrying about this guy. Yeah. I mean, just and, and you know, honestly, it's that's those shoes are way too big. Yeah, way too big. they really are. They and they did it with Indiana Jones too. I mean. They th that the, the I don't know the, why they go so big. If uh, I like, think, I think if they if they the funny thing that I is. always see is I, I don't get is is if you if you wait that long and do it, it's actually better to go back to the it's beginning. The, so the that's basic. what that's what Tim Burton did with Beetlejuice. And Beetlejuice, yes. by the way, was and brilliant. I loved it. Yeah, dude, brilliant, like, brilliant. no CG, yes. like Thank literally you. went, went to, back to it. Practical the stuff. way he did it the first. Yes, time. yes we talked about that. We, we loved it. One of the smartest things that I heard him say in an interview was that he didn't watch the first one, and they said, "What?" He said, "No, I haven't seen the first Tim Burton." He said, "I didn't. I haven't seen the first one since it came out." They said, "Wait a minute, but did you go back and watch to do research to kind of get yourself back into the vibe?" He said, "No, nope. I don't want that because then I'm going to try to top that film." Yeah, and he said, "What I want to do is just kind of tap into the way I was feeling." I remember yes. how I was feeling when I made that movie, so I could just make another movie kind of like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's which is brilliant. That's exactly right. Because what happens is, and we see it with recording artists all the time, which yeah. is the demise of Madonna and all these big artists. Yeah, they once you start trying to outdo they try yourself, top. you're done. You're right. done. So to yeah. your point, Goonies. Go back to another small story. Yeah. Go back to a small absolutely story. Indiana Jones. The one thing we said was with Crystal Skull is coming off of. Last Crusade, which was my favorite uh, Indiana Jones. Me too. I love Raiders of the Lost Ark. Temple Doom was cool, but The Last Crusade was, was 
was freaking unbelievable. brilliant with Sean Connery. With Sean Connery. Oh my God, dude, the relationship. Junior, Junior. Yeah, dad, yeah. dad, dad, yeah. dad. When he's firing the airplane oh and shoots yeah. himself. He's like. I think they hit us, son. son <laughs> they hit it. But it was him. Son, yeah. they've got us. They've got us. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus, God. Anyway, so with Crystal Skull, like the one thing you can't do, they waited all those years, yeah. is you. there were so Aliens. many real stories you right? you could pull from. Well, so many not, factual, not beautiful stories, but not aliens. And they right. did aliens. And then they waited another 20-something years. And, and going, it was across the, 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 the time dimensional continuum. time right. continuum. Some, like, Back to the Future right. shit. I You're know. going, right. oh, my God. Oh, I want to see it's like, Indiana wait, Jones. The, the character's an archaeologist. Dude, like, what, there's know. not enough? I want some of these stories. Yeah. You could go after yeah. what? I know, I know. What are you doing? Like, yeah. even, even, like, current ones. Like, have you seen the, the Ancient Apocalypse uh, show or any of these documentaries where they're still uncovering yeah. really interesting yeah, things? Yes, they are. So, yeah. Like, the fact that there are temples that match the Giza temples all over the yeah. planet. Did you see the, yeah. did, and but did yet you at see, that time they thought we were completely segregated into these tiny little communities. How did you is see that the pyramid possible? they found right. in the Grand Canyon? Yeah, literally the pyramid that mimics the pyramid in Giza. In, 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 in Giza? Giza? No. Yeah, no, I know they're yes. they're really all over the world. They're did all... you see? So the ones in uh, Machu Picchu, or it, they they supposedly mirrored yes. the ones in Egypt, yes. like, right? On opposite, like yes, exact dude, opposite. Right. And now they just found one. That is so weird. They they pulled back and found one in the Grand Canyon. Like it's maybe, there. Uh, no, they're maybe, finding them. They're finding them all was over the world. They're maybe, realizing this was the world was already globalized, so they have to yeah. rethink. Maybe yeah. Spielberg everything that they were yeah. thinking because, was on to something with the aliens. Maybe it was. Did you see that video of Harrison Ford going? When I when I was when I first made Indiana Jones, I was so confused. Yes, I did. I was like, do you ever do you ever really like think about that character, a leather jacket in the jungle? <laughs> <laughs> He's like a Stetson hat. In 100 degree weather, I he's love, like a whip. I love Harrison. Me too. Yeah, but him oh explaining God, is like him. how bizarre yep. that was. But speaking I love of, whenever you see him oh in interviews God. and yeah. stuff, and <laughs> he just best. is like so flippant. Yeah, yeah, yeah he is. Flippant. And it's like, what a cr like. Oh. He, he was in the biggest ever. films ever. ever dude. Oh yeah, he was Han Solo I and hear. Indiana yeah. Jones. Like he, what the hell? How do you get both of those? And he and he literally like just didn't want to do either one. I know. <laughs> like, I know. He did one and was like, I yeah. don't want to do this anymore. What's crazy is in The Last Crusade, he was literally my age now. He was like 47, 48 years old really? when he did Last Crusade. Yes, he was. Because wow. he started so late, you know? He did start yeah, late. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, because he's like 83 now or something. I love, yeah, he started in his, what, his late? Late 30s. Late, late 30s, yeah. See, that, that's the hope for uh, <laughs> Billy well, Bob Thornton. Yeah. Like, yeah, okay, no, we just uh, need a sling blade. Yeah, that's it. Liam Neeson. Taken. Right. Liam right. Neeson had been working for years. Right. Dude, Brian, but Brian Morgan Cran Freeman. Brian Cranston. Brian Cranston. Brian Cranston. I mean, that Morgan guy Freeman. Morgan they didn't Freeman, start until yeah. his forties. Uh, which we call uh, uh, Gene Hackman. Was later. Gene Hackman yeah. was Same forty-two thing. when he did his like when he when got his rolling. Break. When he got right. his break. Yeah. yeah. So, but there that's is actually hope. he actually worked. There, there is hope. No, no, he <laughs> worked. There's but, always hope. But, but Liam I'm always Neeson, in that thing of like, okay, I'm just dude, like, you I'm just gonna keep working bro, dude, yeah. until you just I keep working. You, I've worked a ton, but like, will. I it's best is yet to come. I feel you, bro. But, I'm bro. Not it's that next thing. It's fulfilled. like you look back and you go, it was so not like if dude. I just had one more of I know. this I know. time, I know, I'd be, I'd, I would not take advantage of it. I would like make the absolute most. Milk the shit. I'm really, I'm really happy to hear you talk like this though, and talk about the hope because I saw another actor in an interview and I my jaw dropped at the way his mindset was because it just wasn't I don't know I, I think it's just the wrong mindset and that is Jerry O'Connell if you're listening out there bro I think you really need to change your mindset he was he lit, went on an interview and talked about how he's just this failed actor what I swear and how he never you know he's like and I'm just you know I'm basically like a failed actor I was like, dude. No, first dude. off, no, dude. No, dude. That that in essence is why you are where you are. If right. if you're thinking of it, that mindset also, is he's all had a lot of wrong. I know. Jerry I don't Maguire. Understand. Do you dude. guys I mean, do you Maguire. guys believe in like manifesting? Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely dude. It's, like to me, it's all what you, if, you, if you put that attitude absolutely. out to the universe. That's what so it's going to be. It's like okay, you're then you're done. You're I done. know. You're I'm done. like, man, you got to change that mindset. That that is not, and that's not the way people perceive of him either. No, not at all. That's only in his own head. And he's the nicest guy in the world. I know. Yeah. I was like, the "What is going guy. on? He's got to. He's got to change he that." Maybe he was joking. No, no, he was dead serious. He was actually really down. Like I felt bad for him in this interview. I, I was like, "Dude, I, I literally am saying this because I, I hope this gets to him in mm. some way. Like he needs to change that mindset. <laughs> that is all well, wrong." I say this for you and I, man. Look, I believe. Look, and I know you have a lot left in the tank. So do I. And there's so much that I want to do, bro. Yeah, like I'm, and I tons. keep thinking, I keep thinking that I would have done it by the time I was forty. 
But it's going to be probably in our 50s. I, you know, I, because yeah, well, it's, and they be. say, it's like, okay, what's so I worked then when I was younger. Yep. I had that thing. Now me give me that when I'm older. Yeah. And, yep. I'll, it's and a I'll be whole good. New I'll know what to do with it. Rebirth of it. And, yeah. and yeah. that's why I'm telling you, that's why I. I, I you guys will definitely. I literally keep have talking about Liam, and he said, no I never doubt. thought that at 58 years old that they the script would come across my desk. And I, I he said, and I went in for it, you know, taken. It was not like an offer. He auditioned thing. for I it. Mean, yeah, he had to meet on it, you know? Right. And literally, because, you know, he hadn't transitioned to that action guy yet. They didn't really know. He'd done right. a few things, but yeah. not really. And he said, and that to think that the last 20 years of my career well, has been. To think that Dark Man. All mean, iterations that, of that. To think that Dark, literally. dark Man was 30 years yeah, previous dude. Dude, to Taken is dude, like. He had wow, a two parter in Miami Vice. Like, yeah. he was working back in Miami Vice, like, as yeah. a young guy. I mean, like, but but he he did some good stuff, but never. No, never. Never did never, he become. Never. He became a superstar Dude. at 58 years old. I mean, I did, that's the truth. It's true. Speaking so, of, of you know, what we gotta do. We I did the commercial for Miami Vice, the stunt show no, you for Universal. Universal Studios? Studios? Yeah, yeah. I, I love it. that show. I shot it Dude. at Magic Mountain, and it was um, I. What? I, oh, yeah. My what? God. Dude, that's how, that's how old. I, um, <laughs> I remember that show. It was right I before Waterworld. They replaced it, it with Waterworld. It was before Waterworld. Yeah. 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 I love that one. It was Miami Vice action. I love that one. I love that one. The helicopter and all that shit. On the boat. I was I played yeah. Don Johnson in the dude, commercial. I had to go and like, get a haircut. Dude. And I wore a white oh suit with a, like, a pink shirt and loafers and the whole thing. Unbelievable. Dude, that is so yeah. badass. That's pretty rad. You know, honestly, man, that was one of my favorite shows. I love Miami Vice so much. It was so yeah. ahead dude. of its time, bro. Yeah. It was Chicks. so ahead of its time. Oh, my really God, was. dude, the music. Yeah. Michael Mann, dude. Oh, oh to, make, to, like, to have 10 Michael minutes of, the, of it just music. Mm -hmm. Just I mean, them driving in a car and just a complete song On playing. TV at that time yeah. was yeah. unheard of. No, so cool. yeah. Yeah. no one had ever seen anything like that. Just And, and he has continued. I mean, I, I, Michael Mann has inspired. I found a lot of world music through Michael Mann, through yeah. his soundtracks. Oh, yeah. he, oh, I don't yeah. think he, I mean, maybe he does, but he has inspired so many people to kind of get into different types of world music it, it, with his soundtracks. He's, he's, I want them to I'm such Maddie a huge fan so of Michael like, Mann. Reboot it so, so bad. I think it's so it's relevant It's tough today. though, reboots. I know, are, it's so yeah. tough, dude. Reboots are really, Scary. really tough because yeah. everybody's making them right now because it's like, it's an easy one and there's a built-in audience. Yeah. But then and you can't, they're so easy to fail with. I, know. Well, and that, so I would have to say, like, and it's like, would okay, you're trying like, to bring that audience. I don't yeah. even, but if you don't yeah. bring them, if you don't hook them with what got them yeah. originally, that's the problem. It does have to do it. Well, you have you're going to go yeah. for a reboot, but it's heartbreaking. So like, because we did a reboot in 90210, and I was oh, like, yeah. I yeah. did not want to do any more. Like, we did 10 years of that show. I was like, I'm good. Yeah, it's I do a lot, not man. need to play David Silver again. And then the reboot was this interesting idea. It was like this meta version yeah, of it. Yeah, it was, right? So I was Wasn't like, like a show oh, okay, a show this, or something? Yeah, so we were playing ourselves as the actors from 90210. Mm. We get together at a I convention and somebody's like, mm. hey, we should go do a reboot of the show. Mm -hmm. So we have like writing the script, doing that. Mm. And we end up selling it to Fox in the final episode. We're at the Fox upfronts. Mm. And like everybody's cheering. And, but it's, and it's 90210. It's the same thing. We're all playing the same characters. Um... But oh. that's not what the fans wanted exactly. to see. They wanted to right. see, hey, what's David Silver doing now? Yeah. Like, right. Is David and Don, are they still okay. married? Yeah, of course. You know? Yes. Of course. No. Yeah, I know. No, you have to be very careful. It needs to be a careful. continuation. So you're tapping into that classic nostalgia that everybody yeah. wants. Because whenever they revamp, it doesn't. Like the Ghostbusters, which was good, and those when they remade it with the the uh, Jenna McCarthy or who was in the oh yeah M M Melissa, Melissa McCarthy, McCarthy. sorry, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, it was good, but it was just such a departure. No, I didn't want to no, see those no, new no, characters. No, no. I wanted to see where right. Bankman was. I wanted to yeah. see. Yeah. Right. I wanted to see those right. guys. Yeah, uh, and that's well, they, why they I learned. Like, they went back they, to it well, for they, Frozen. Yeah. The last one. Yeah, yeah last they were good. Afterlife, Afterlife, Frozen, and Frozen. I enjoyed them. Frozen. I mean, they still weren't. You know, it wasn't. It wasn't Ghostbusters, but it was as at least closer to it. Well, dude, I mean. Bill Murray, like that, I know, dude. that oh cast. You, I know you Ackroyd can't was hitting on all cylinders. You can't like get rid of were, Dan Aykroyd I mean, and Bill Murray, and like, and there, there are scenes in that first Ghostbusters when you actually think about when he enters her apartment. Bill Murray enters um, Sigourney Weaver's apartment. Yeah, yeah. He hits the piano. That was like a dramatic. That was like an incredible he, scene. That was ad libbed yeah. when he plays the piano. Goes ding, 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 ding. They don't like that. That wasn't in the script. <laughs> he added all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, the fact that he was able to pull off these like incredible little little funny moments within these like really heavy, incredible scenes. I, dude, that movie was badass. He's the man, though. Bill Murray, yeah. Wow. Yeah, Bill He's Murray is incredible. My ex wife dude. worked with him one time, oh, dude, and he sent a mariachi band into her trailer at one point during lunch. Randomly, had <laughs> nothing to do with the film. <laughs> they knocked on the door, oh and literally a mariachi band came into the trailer and started playing <laughs> and singing. 
my that's God. amazing. And then left, and then that that was it. That was like the, the whole. That's brilliant. Yeah, but he I'm going to use that. Like oh my God. I'm definitely going to use you're gonna that. You're going to do it. You're going to send somebody a mariachi. Yeah, I got to do that at some point in my life. This is this is. I got to tell these guys because these guys will get such a kick out of this. When we were in Daytona, you were I was picking your brain and 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 prying a few stories because you worked with Tony Scott. Oh, how sick you did I was is in that dude how oh, sick my god we're, we're like just such huge like he's like my top yeah. top you I know mean, we that's... were just at, we were out to dinner i said this story oh, we said, tell, tell, yeah. we, no we were out to dinner and i was wearing a mellow yellow hat okay because uh -huh. one of my favorite movies growing up was days of thunder uh -huh. which tony scott directed by yeah. the way very underrated movie it's yeah. bad it's <laughs> you look at that movie from 1990 well it was literally top gun in, in race cars yeah, it NASCAR. was awesome it was, yeah. it was freaking brilliant awesome. yeah. anyway and i and i had the hat on and and I get a tap on my shoulder and, and I turn around and she's and this this beautiful lady was like, I was Miss Mellow Yellow. And I was like, what? She was like, Tony Scott's wife. Yeah. And he was there with his kids. Yeah. We were at the, and I was like, what? Yeah. Of all the times for me to wear she my. She was in Domino. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. She was so nice. She's so nice. Yeah. So, so nice. Yeah, and he was there was with cool. his sons and they were yeah. celebrating, I think, a birthday or something. But man, I couldn't believe it. Like, what a random. Like I had just gotten that hat for me to wear that hat out. I'd never really actually worn that hat out. And we yeah. don't go out a lot. No, we don't. <laughs> we don't really go out ever. We were just out to dinner, and uh, and I couldn't believe it. She was like, "That that's such crazy." That epic. And I was, yeah, Tony Scott. Yeah, Tony Scott. What, literally a visionary dude. Dude, dude I yeah. that was. Uh, he directed Beverly Hills Cop too. Arguably the hardest thing to do is follow up what Martin Brest did and make a movie as good. And he did it. Yeah, he did it. So one of the reasons why I really loved like Maverick was mm. that it felt so much yeah. like the like it it's it they did. really made the choice of we're not going to stray Don from Cruise, the formula dude. that worked brilliant. brilliant in the first one same score dude. same type of shots yeah dude. Same, it was like it was so same good, setups. Dude. i know it was, so it was a brilliant it's, it's exactly what you said they did not they literally ingratiated everything that you'd want for the fans that supported this movie for 40 years and yet they made it relevant that's almost impossible. You to know do. what I really got to from that film compared to the first one, and maybe it's just my age also, but like I really left the theater with a better understanding of how difficult and risky it is to be a pilot. Oh yeah, oh, for my. sure. Yes. In that right. program, right. I didn't get in the first. The right. first one was like, oh, it's yeah. entertaining and it's kind of fun. And yeah. yeah. This cool. one was like, the damn, the fucking stakes yeah. are high. really high. You either nail it. Or you're dead. Perfectly, or, you or you're dead. Yeah, yep. Yeah. No, it was so. It was dude, so well movie done. Was, it really was. Yeah. so good. It was so. Tom good. Cruise, They're making another it, one. They're like, making a third. Possibly. We well, say yeah, it, because Glenn Powell is blown yeah. up. Yeah. We so say it. We big. say it all the time. I mean, we say it all the time that like that that Tom Cruise, in my opinion, hands down, guy. I think may have the greatest, it's great, greatest acting career of anyone ever. I don't think anyone has oh, been able to decade. When it comes to a movie star, yes, I don't think I don't. I think. He sits at the top yeah, of movie who else stardom. Who's going to be relevant for I mean, forty-five? Years? I don't. I don't. I mean, DiCaprio. DiCaprio. Maybe DiCaprio. And he and DiCaprio. Yeah, so yeah. DiCaprio, same thing. It's like if you look at his yeah. line of films, right. no stinkers at right. all. Ever. Like yeah. it's just like smashing, just smashing, smashing, yeah. smashing. Yeah. smashing, yeah. smashing. It's really true. I know. Cruise. Yeah. Is, it's. I mean, it's crazy. Cruise it is. is the same way. It's. Yeah, you're right. Crazy. It, uh, because yeah, because even like Pitt and Depp and all these guys. No, no, they have their Keanu, runs. Yeah, but they've yeah. all had pretty big. Dips. Harrison they've Ford all had, had his run. They've all yeah. had stinkers. Yeah, Harrison yeah. Ford had his but run. But DiCaprio you know, like, and Cruz no. never have had stinkers. No, no, not it's really. Pretty incredible. When you when you have no. the right team though, around, so. when when yeah. you are as and you can just versed in film as they are. I mean, Tom Cruise is just a master. Yeah, he's the best. He's a master. Filmmaking, like he understands everything. Yeah. What's going to keep people in their seat? What's going to pull at their so heartstrings? Good. What is good? Like he Dude, knows all of in that. In Maverick, so, when he jumps out and has that Jerry Maguire moment with the daughter, oh my yeah. god! In that movie, it was it's just so did you great. did you yes. did you see Glenn yeah. Powell talk yes. about yeah, what he said? Did you he, hear what he said? He about has it? um an an eight hour long Sit video down. masterclass yeah. that he gives he gives to only the people that he like thinks will really go on to to be something special. Yeah, and he says it's just a, a masterclass of how to make a hit movie. Right. And how right. to perform as the lead in yeah. one of these movies. Well, I remember it's, it's a whole different performance. And I've heard Will things... Smith talk about this too. That he had to learn that. It's a whole different performance when you go from any kind of television or any kind of even supporting role in, in these big blockbuster movies. When you actually are the lead of a blockbuster movie, yeah. you actually, it's the hardest thing, but you actually have to be like the, the rock, the, the rock. center for the audience. Yeah. So actually you need to be like really lasered in the entire movie so that you're the one thing 
that the audience can count on. Everything it's a whole different around you. Yes, mm -hmm. it's a whole but, different yeah. performance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and even if you're a supporting character actor, where you get to go for that character. It's a it's a change of mind. It is frame too. Like you you normally go into your career like okay I've got four or five scenes so I've got to really shine in them. Like yeah. I've got to really do some things. Yeah. All of a sudden you're number one on the call sheet. It's like man I. I need to make sure now that everybody behind me is shining the way yep. that I like, and I I'm the straight man, which yeah. is right. why Jason Bateman's so good. That's yeah. right. That's mm. right. Everybody's so good at so that. good. Yeah. So good at that. Uh, so Glenn, true. Glenn said that his favorite quote from from Tom Cruise was that uh, that he asked him, you know, because he, he they he originally went in for uh, a different role. In he for, went in, in for the main for Rooster. That's right. Yeah, and he didn't want to. He didn't want to do it. Now it was yeah. a, such a small role. And Tom was like, "Listen, I really need you to rethink it. You're really not being smart about it." And anyway, after the fact, he said, thank you so much. Thank you so much. He said, he said, so what are you going to do next? He said, well, I'm going to do what you did. I'm just going to pick really great roles. He said, no, that's not what I did. He said, what do you mean? He said, I, I never picked great roles. He said, you didn't? He said, no, that's not how you have a hit career. He said, well, what do you do? He said, you choose great movies and then you just are good in them. That's it. Mm. Wow. That's what he said. Choose good movies it's and true. just be and good, in, good them. in them. Yeah. It. He says, "Don't so you don't, you don't How many roles. times do you get a script and you go, "Oh, this is a juicy character," and yeah. then it comes out, and you're and like, "Oh, what a sucks. stinker!" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so true, yeah, it so true, so dude. True. Yeah, that's it. That is Boy, this funny. one. Yeah, yeah. He, said, he said you choose great movies. Wow. Yeah, great, yeah, great that makes films, perfect and sense. then you're just good in them. Yeah, right. heck yeah. Don't let the roles necessarily guide. No, it's true. That's, that's true. true. Absolutely true. That's incredible. Anyway. Yeah. Guys, we have great guests and we have yeah. great times and there's great so many conversation. We could talk for yeah. another two hours. I know we yeah, could, know, but we'll do it. But we'll do it again. We'll yeah. do it again, and then we'll go on and then older. Come on, yeah, yeah. we look forward to coming on. Yeah, right, right, I right, can't we... wait to have you three. Oh, oh yeah. God, <laughs> I have a whole <laughs> list. Of... Do it, oh, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do sure. it, Brian. Awesome. We'll do it, buddy. Listen, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Yeah, thanks for being here. with us. Tune in next time. Watch Oldish. Obviously, we'll we'll be on there, but watch it regardless. It's on YouTube. It's great. It's on YouTube. It's everywhere. Oh yeah. Everywhere. And well, you can watch us on YouTube. Yep, you watch check them on YouTube. YouTube. Subscribe. That's it. Yep, watch yeah, please. Like. Thank you very much. Love we you guys so it. much. God bless. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next Friday. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. See you. Bye. Hey, what's up, everybody? The, the Lawrence, Lawrence Brothers, Brothers are here. here. Thank you so much for enjoying this week's episode of the Brotherly Love Pod. And if you want more of this show, check out our premium feed on Supercast. That's right, where you'll see ad-free episodes, monthly AMAs, behind-the-scene content, and so much more. That's brotherlylove.supercast.com. To join. Check out our link tree and subscribe on all platforms. We'll see you all next, next week. week.